Today's video is brought to you in part by the Corsair Void Pro headphones. If you're not wearing them, you're not listening. What's up guys? Welcome back once again to Tech Tomorrow. Well, today we have a head-to-head -head battle between the RX Vega 56 and the GTX 1070 FE cards, both priced around the same thing, around $399. Obviously, when the first reviews came out of the RX Vega cards, they were very, very immature and new drivers, but now that those drivers have been more mature, let's take it and have a head-to-head -head battle between these two cards tested on 28 games. That's right, 28 games and a head-to-head -head battle battle with the RX Vega 56 versus that GTX 1070 FE. Let the games begin. So the parts that we use in the test bench that you're seeing in today's video consisted of an Intel Core i7 6700K at 4.0 gigahertz, which turbos to 4.6 gigahertz. Now this was done on an ASRock Z170 motherboard, 16 gigabytes of HyperX DDR4 at 3,333 megahertz, the drivers used in the GTX 1070 FE were the WHQL 385.41 drivers. And for the Vega 56, we use the 17.9.2 drivers. All results in today's testing show average frame rates, but we also include the minimum frame rates as well. One thing to take note of is that all of the cards will run at their stock speed for these tests. We have an overclocking video coming out a little bit later. But with that said, before we jump into the benchmarks and the conclusion, let's check out a word from today's sponsor, the Corsair Void Pro. If you're a true gamer, then you know a good set of headphones is important to any battle environment, and the Corsair Void Pros have got you covered. With their microfiber mesh fabric and memory foam ear cups, you'll be able to raid all day and night without surrendering discomfort on your ears or your head. The Void Pros also feature metal structural components and glass fiber infused plastics, so not only do you get a comfortable pair of headphones, you get a pair of headphones you know will last a long time. And there's no sacrifice of sound quality either. With custom tuned 50 millimeter neodymium speaker drivers combined with Dolby Headphone 7.1 surround, these headphones will immerse you in audio with a wide range and accuracy of sounds. To plan your game strategy with your friends, the Void Pros include a unidirectional microphone that reduces ambient noise so you can talk your battle plans with crystal clear voice quality. You can also use the Corsair Q2 software to customize your Void Pros. From EQ presets to visual customization, take control of your headphones. The Void Pros also come in several different models, including USB and wireless, so there's a Void Pro that's perfect for you. Enter the Void with the Void Pros. If you're looking for a pair of killer gaming headphones, check out those Void Pros. Now with that said, let's jump in and rock out to the benchmark song and let's check out those benches.
All right, tech fans, so check it out. You guys can see that these two cards traded blows back and forth, back and forth, but at the end of the day, I have to say that the RX Vega 56 is the winner. Now, here's the only caveat, however, with this right now. The price is supposed to be $399, right? But you can't find a card for $399 of Vega 56 hardly anywhere whatsoever. So my advice is really this. I would completely skip the reference versions of any RX card, anyone. The Vega 64, the Vega 56, I would ignore them completely and I would wait till the cards come out from all of the aftermarket manufacturers, Gigabyte, you know, everybody who's in the game who's gonna be making a card, you should wait for their cards. But with these testings, you guys can see with the newer drivers though, the RX 56 is kicking some serious but it's just a wee bit faster than the 1070 FE but hey a wee bit faster is still a wee bit faster making that card the winner in today's battle now like usual we'll have links down below to these two cards if you want to check out more information about them or just get one for yourself it will be there I'm Elric you've been watching Tech of Tomorrow we'll see you guys back here for more tech tomorrow